some, yes, but for many others, no, at least not anytime soon. I have done considerable research into the subject and have concluded that there is no single correct answer. However, there is one recommendation I would make for every business that relies on Visual Fox Pro to run their businesses. Understand the issues and plan ahead. You have four choices. You can stay with your current Visual Fox Pro program. You can convert to another language, such as .NET. You can upgrade your Visual Fox Pro program, or you can switch to an off-the-shelf program. Your first choice is to stay with your current Visual Fox Pro program. If you own a smaller business with a relatively simple program, you should have at least until about 2020 to begin transitioning and possibly much longer. What are the pros and cons of this choice? First, it will save you money in the short term. You can continue using the program that your employees know well and making changes is relatively easy. What are the cons? As fewer Fox Pro programmers are available, hourly rates will increase. In an emergency, you may not be able to find a programmer resulting in substantial impairment of your ability to run your company. Sometime in the next five to 10 years, all or part of your program may not run on the computers available. The number of years you will be able to run smoothly is speculative, so you run a risk by waiting too long. If you are forced to leave Visual Fox Pro in a short period of time, the cost and disruption could be disastrous. Your second alternative is to convert to another language. The larger and more complex your program, the sooner you should get started. But large or small, converting to another language will give you the opportunity to improve on what already works for you, your custom program. What are the pros of converting to another language such as .NET? Visual Fox Pro is a 32-bit software. The world is moving to a 64-bit hardware. Gain the security of having a SQL database. Because you have SQL, you can do your own ad hoc queries and reports using such tools as Microsoft Access. You can move to web-based and mobile-based applications. And it's easier to make thoughtful choices about how to convert and what enhancements you want when you are not hurried. Programmers skilled in Visual Fox Pro are still available at reasonable rates. Your cost will be lower by starting sooner. Your costs can be spread over a longer period of time, and you will experience little or no business disruption. And what are the cons? Initially, more expensive. Your fourth option is to switch to an off-the-shelf or a canned program. Chuck Cohn, CEO and founder of Varsity Tutors, has this to say. For my tutoring business, we initially started off with off-the-shelf software because it was fast and cheap, but we eventually found that the lack of customization relative to our day-to-day -day operations ultimately led to inefficient manual processes. As we grew, these challenges became more and more pronounced, and scalability became harder to reach. Ultimately, we were forced to invest heavily in proprietary software so that we could scale effectively. In retrospect, many of these trade-offs could have been assessed far earlier in our company's lifetime. What are the pros? Having a canned program or off-the-shelf program is sometimes less expensive. Also, it can be faster to implement in some instances. What are the cons? Off-the-shelf software often has many features you do not want but of course have to pay for. And it often requires considerable and expensive training. It is unlikely to meet perhaps more than 70% of your needs, in some instances less. It can be very difficult and often impossible to get the changes that you need. Some of these are critical changes. The cost of custom changes is often extremely high and it often not compatible with other software. 
if the vendor goes out of business, and this does happen, you could face a catastrophe.